Mm, yes. So much yes. What a way to start the day. <laughs> Pug socks. Check. So yeah, I'm back in LA. This time I'm here for a little bit longer. I'm here for four days instead of three. <laughs> so the first time I was ever in LA was last time I vlogged when I went to the YouTube space. It was the launch of the YouTube Red Show and stuff like that. But today I am actually staying in Hollywood because last time I was near Santa Monica Pier and check this out. So first off, my hotel room is crazy. Look at this thing. It's got its own kitchen. It's got a giant clock. Which is wrong, but that's fine. It's also got a crazy bed, bathroom, TV, but the best part is this balcony. First off, it's like 30 degrees Celsius today, which is insane and so nice. Compared to like Boston where we started, it was like minus 10. So this is beautiful, but look, if you go to the left-hand side of my balcony, what's that up there? Oh, oh, it's the Hollywood sign right there. Look at that. Literally chilling right at the side of my balcony. How awesome is that? And if you look over the edge of my balcony, you can see the stars down there too. It's the famous Hollywood Boulevard stars. And then on the other side of the road too. It's so cool. Oh, that's too close. Yeah, I'm here for the next four days because on the fourth day we have our very first LA show. Actually, I'm here for five days. Three free days, including today, and then two show days. And then we're off over to San Jose. And then we're going to San Francisco. And then I'm going home because the first leg of the US tour will be finished, which is crazy. So what I thought I'd do is pick up my vlogging camera again because I didn't vlog that much last time I was in LA and um, this time I actually have three free days because last time I was here for three days, had loads of work to do and I didn't really get to enjoy it that much. So I think I'm going to do some crazy stuff. I'm actually trying to hire a car. I've never driven in the US before. I've never even hired a car anywhere in the world before. But I think I'm going to do it just because I've got three free days. I'm a little bit more out the way in Hollywood compared to where I was last time. So it might be handy to have a car to get around a little bit more. I'm going to visit YouTube space again. I'm going to try and go somewhere else as well. I'm not going to say what it is just in case I don't go. But I've got some good plans. But I'm um, speaking of work. I've got a few little meetings to do first. And then we're going to go off and explore LA. I'm excited. I'm in Hollywood. Again, this is crazy. <laughs> get some meetings done. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I could ever get one of these stars one day. That would be pretty cool. And another cool thing that's here, because I'm quite a big music person, um, Capitol Records is literally across the road. And there's some really cool street art down here too. I really love street art. But um, yeah, Capitol Records is just across the road. That's very cool as well. Hold up. Strawberry jam in a packet? That is... That is genius. Right, so, LA. I need to get going because, of course, I'm late and I'm going to be visiting the YouTube space today and yesterday, I did something I don't usually do. I did something very, very spontaneous. I kind of thought, and I think I mentioned it earlier in the vlog about um, hiring a car, and I did that. But I didn't hire just any normal car. I hired something special. Just because I'm here in LA, I thought, why not while I'm here? I've never driven in America before, and I thought I'd try it out, and the YouTube space is about 45 minutes away, and I didn't really want to get an Uber that far, so I thought, why not drive, and then what I can do is make sure that I can explore freely for the rest of the few days that I'm here. So I can drive to the observatory, which I really want to do, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, and just do some really cool scenic drives of LA, which you can't do if you don't have a car, it's not really, it's not really a cool thing to go around in an Uber doing scenic drives, is it? But yeah, I'm gonna drive to YouTube Space now. The car is in ballet, so I'm going to show you the car when I get there, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Whoosh. Okay, so I finished at YouTube Space. I managed to make four videos. I'm gonna have to make four tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to come back, but that's fine. I need to rest my voice. I don't wanna do that again, but um, YouTube Space is literally just behind me here. It's a really cool space, but I'm gonna show you the car I got now. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Yep. I went big. I got myself a Ferrari 458 Italia Spider for like three days. Because so I thought I'm in LA, why not? And it's a ton of fun, I'm not gonna lie. And it's really cool just to have the freedom to drive anywhere. Never driven in America before, but um, yeah, I thought I'd treat myself and hire out a Ferrari for the day. <laughs> and it's actually a really nice color for LA as well. Even though it's super hot, the seats and stuff don't get hot because they're nice tan color, but it's a beautiful car and super loud as well. And it's really weird because I have to get used to driving on the other side of the road and the other side of the car, which is really weird because in the UK, we drive on the right-hand side of the car, but the left-hand side of the road. Whereas in the US, you drive on the left-hand side of the car, the right hand side of the road. Super weird to get your head around. But I never really do stuff like this, I guess, but I thought since I'm in LA, why not? I thought I'd treat myself a little bit while I'm out here. It helps me to get around a little bit easier too, but um, yeah, 
I hope you like it. I think it's pretty awesome. And I've got it until Thursday morning, which is the day of our first show. So I've got, I think, two and a half more days to enjoy it for a bit and to get used to driving on American roads. It's weird because like my instinct is to pull out of here and go that way. That's the wrong way. I need to go this way. <laughs> right, you ready to hear the thing start up? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy and it's all coming from the back there. It's so nice. I'm gonna let it warm up for a little bit, even though that won't take long in LA. And I'm gonna go to a barbecue now, which is with all the tour people. So I'm not gonna film it because we just wanna chill out and kind of celebrate having such a good first half of the tour. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go and hang out. And then we're gonna go do some driving around some really cool spaces in LA because there's some really picturesque places. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, I've just got finished uh, having lunch with some of the tour people, which was really nice. It was one of our favorite places in LA last time, so I'm glad we got to go back. But um, I've just been to YouTube Space again and done all the videos that I need to do. But now, what I'm doing is I'm heading to a pet store because I'm going to visit a pug rescue in LA. It's one that me and Jem follow quite closely on Facebook. So I'm gonna go and buy some stuff, like beds and leads and leashes and all that kind of stuff, and then I'm gonna go and donate it to them while I visit them. But I haven't got long. Traffic in LA is terrible, so let's get there. There you go, there were some parks. I didn't want to film too much in there because I was the only person there. They were very, very busy and I was very late because LA traffic sucks and I didn't have time to go to the pet store, which is really annoying because I really wanted to get them some stuff to donate. But um, at least I visited, I FaceTimed Gem the whole time and she recognized uh, some of the pugs from the live streams that they do. And it was really cool to see and made me miss my pugs more. But at least I got some pug time in because I haven't seen a pug in a good like six weeks. So that was really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I need to drive to go and have another meeting and then we're going out for dinner. But um, I better go because traffic is terrible. So again, as with most of my vlogs, this one has turned into a bit of a mess too. But that's because I've been super busy. Now, um, since I got the car, and actually today we have a show, which is in the evening, but I have some time in the morning. I do need to give the car back today, but before I do that, it's a beautiful day outside. Of course, we're in LA. But I did say that I wanted to go and drive around some really cool places, and I haven't really done that. I've driven across and through LA, which is long. And full of traffic but because I've got some time this morning what I'm gonna do is quickly google the best places to drive in LA and then I'm gonna drive those hopefully film as much as I can obviously I'm driving so I need to be careful what I'm doing but I thought that would be really cool because I need to give the car back today anyway so I'll go and drive give the car back then I've got another meeting and then our first show in LA which is crazy so let's try and get some more structure back in this vlog shall we okay I have a list and this looks pretty cool this looks pretty cool this looks absolutely terrifying oh my goodness so i need to pack my bag because i'm going to go straight to the venue to set up for the show straight after my meeting so i need to pack a bag i need to get the car and then drive and i need to choose a place to go <laughs> i think i need to get some gas as well but hey let's go so i've actually had a better idea so if a damn tdm creates a big scene they put up billboards around la you might have seen it on twitter because i drove past one earlier when i wasn't expecting to see it but i haven't seen the big one in person yet so we're going to drive there see how much time we've got left afterwards check out the billboard and then see where we can go because i'm excited to see this let's go so remember what i was talking about earlier about taking the car out Apparently the car has different plans. I've got a completely flat tire at the back So instead of pumping it up and driving it around which I don't feel safe doing because it's not my car I'm going to get the rental company to come and pick it up now, but that means I can't drive this beautiful car Anymore today, which is annoying and but hey 
it was nice while it lasted. I had a good like three day drive with it and it is a beautiful car. This is it with the roof up by the way. I don't think I've showed you it yet because I got super sunburnt yesterday <laughs> when I was driving with the top down. It's a beautiful car, but I'm gonna have to say bye to it now. Sorry. See you later, Ferrari. So that was a really sucky way to start the day, but it's about to get even better because I have found my billboard. It's got me on it. It's got the pugs on it. It's absolutely huge and above a really busy street. This is the one I drove past before, but check it out. This is crazy. So we have massive billboards like this. We have massive billboards like this. And then there, right there is my face. How crazy is that? It's insane, look at all these people driving past my giant head. Crazy guys. I wonder how close I can get to it. And check out these stunning views as well. LA is crazy for stuff like this. You can turn any corner in the middle of the city and just be on these amazing, amazing views. So I'm gonna see if I can get closer to these billboards, but I'm, I guess uh, a morning of driving has turned into a morning of walking. I'm gonna walk around LA for a bit, walk to my next meeting, which is about 37 minutes away. So I should actually be on time, which is really cool. But um, I should be able to get pretty close to this billboard. Check it out. There it is. I wonder if I can get any closer. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can climb up this wall or not but I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think it's a great idea. I can't even get through here to try and get up onto the billboards because I could do that for literally like five seconds, but there's no way I can do that. Okay, there is definitely no way I'm getting any closer to this, but I'm pretty close anyway. So what I'm gonna do is do some walking, find some cool places, and I'll make up for not being able to drive around. <laughs> to be fair, I could probably get some more footage because I'm not gonna be driving. So let's take a stroll, shall we? Guys, I made a good decision. Let's make up for today with this, ice cream. Ice cream fixes everything. Yes. I made a good decision. <laughs> Man, it's super hot today. I've also seen about like six Lambos today. No Ferraris though. There's not as many Ferraris over here as Lamborghinis, but um, yeah, I'm about halfway to where I'm supposed to be. It's a very warm day, but I'm definitely gonna miss this weather when I go home because at home, it's like 10 degrees. Here, it's like 30, so. I'm definitely gonna miss this. <laughs> I told you, Lamborghini, right there. That's the one that literally just buzzed past me like two seconds ago. It's a nice one though, I think that's the SV as well. Yeah, it is. Super nice car. The white and the gold. Not bad. <laughs> the palm trees out here are super beautiful as well, especially with that backdrop of the blue sky. Really nice. Okay, I made it 30 minutes. That's a record I should not I've worn skinny jeans today, but at least they have holes in, I guess, like all my skinny jeans. <laughs> but I've made it, time for a meeting, and then I guess we should do a show. Which is weeks, we haven't done one in what feels like two weeks, but really it's only been like four days, so this should be fun. And it's in the Dolby Theatre, where they hold the Oscars. The Oscars, guys. Insane. Right, let's have a meeting. Meeting's done, and I have arrived at the Dolby Theatre, and this is my dressing room. It literally has a piano in it. That's cool. But to think the people that have been in here, like crazy, crazy famous people with like, literally the Oscars are held here. This, this venue was built for the Oscars. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's literally one of the grandest venues that we have played. And we've sold it out twice, today and tomorrow. It's gonna be epic. So I said I'll show you guys the venue before it gets filled up with all of you guys. So check it out. It's one of the craziest, grandest venues I have ever seen. It goes all the way to the top up here. We've never done a venue with four tiers like this, and it goes back to like this. So it's absolutely huge. There's 3,200 people. I think these boxes will be full as well. So yeah, 3,200 people sold out today, sold out tomorrow. It's gonna be nuts. And just like that, we're in San Francisco. Yeah, today is the last day of the first leg of the Dan TDM US tour. So um, what I want to do between this show and the next show is go out and explore San Francisco because I'm literally here for two days, today and tomorrow. Today is full of show stuff, so I want to go to the Golden Gate Bridge and I need to get some stuff for Gemma too. So hopefully after this show, before the next show, I can go and explore. So um, let's do a show first, I guess. <laughs> okay. Final show done, which is crazy, but now we're heading over to explore San Francisco before our flight later today. So it's currently like 8 a.m. in the morning, and we're gonna go and visit Alcatraz, which is a very, very old prison, which is a prison on an island, so it's meant to be like super secure. Some people did escape, but we're going to explore Alcatraz. I'm not sure if they allow filming there, but I'm gonna try and film it. I'm gonna go and visit the Golden Gate Bridge as well before we go, because our flight is at half five, and you don't know how excited I am to get home. Right, 
Let's go to prison, I guess. <laughs> so guys, check it out, we made it to Alcatraz. We're on the island known as The Rock because Alcatraz is in literally the middle of the ocean. Over there is San Francisco. But look how beautiful it is for a prison. This is actually pretty nice. <laughs> We've got views all the way around. It's beautiful. So check out this view, literally on a prison. Incredible. <laughs> this is crazy cool, look at that. The only people here now are seagulls and tourists, like me. <laughs> Just there in the background is the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see the redness because there's a few around. So Alcatraz was pretty cool. I'm so glad we went because it was one of the guys on the team that booked it about a month ago because Alcatraz is really hard to get into. You can't buy tickets on the day, even in the same week. So I'm really glad we went. It was awesome. I ended up meeting a lot of you guys there, which was pretty cool because there were like school trips and stuff. It was crazy. But that was awesome. And now I need to pack all this stuff in about 40 minutes because I finally get to get home and go and see Jem and the Pugs. I am so excited. The flight is like 11 hours, which is kind of long, but I'm tired enough to probably sleep through the whole thing. But San Francisco, you are an incredibly beautiful city and I will be back. It's such a shame that I can't spend more time here, but yeah, I'll definitely be back. So um, one more thing just before I end this vlog because I need to go straight to the airport. First off, sorry if it was absolutely crazy. It probably was, all mishmashed all over the place. But the tours are so, so busy that um, I just kind of pick up my camera when I can. Anyway. Speaking of the tour, if you want to come to the second leg of the tour, because it's only the first leg that is over, the Dan TDM US tour, you can buy tickets right here. Go and click this button right now, take you straight to the ticket page where we've got loads more dates ready to go. I think there's 21 more dates over six weeks. It's going to be awesome. And in the next few days or next few weeks, I'll be showing you some clips from the show as well so you know what to expect. So yeah, definitely come and check it out. It's gonna be super exciting. As you've seen, it's crazy fun. So um, yeah. Come on down. But apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be awesome. I'm going to go and get on a plane and get back to normal for a bit. Hopefully, by the time I've uploaded this, I'll be home. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, thank you again so much. You're awesome, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!